All right there, guys. <laughs> it's the Mad Mike Gamer Channel. How the devil is everyone on this fine day? I'm Mad Mike. Welcome to the channel if you're new, and welcome to everyone that's already subscribed. Um, what I thought I'd do for you today is another top ten. This is my top ten for the upcoming samurai style games that are coming out. Um, Really looking forward to all of these games, so we'll jump right in and we'll start at number 10, guys. <laughs> Love that, that's brilliant. <clears throat> so at number 10, um, I picked this one at 10 just because the fact it that it's out that time very, very soon. I think it's out in March. And um, this is Rise the of the Ronin. Can feel like a lifetime for those Graphically, it looks absolutely rhythm. stunning. I think a lot of these games are, uh, that I've chosen are in third person because I do really love my third person style games. Um, and I think they're so much better with these samurai style games as well, third person. You can see everything that's going on. Um, reminds me of a few other games like Assassin's Creed, there's a bit of Batman with the grappling and stuff like that in it. For me, it's hesitation Try not to say too much, guys. I'll just let you enjoy the trailer. <laughs> if the drum drives the rhythm, then the river directs the flow. Let's do this together. Hopefully, that's a uh, hint towards being able to play co-op, which would be so good. Must you move? Ooh, we looked a bit tall. <laughs> Let us not forget the pain of Master Shoin and the countless others who have suffered. It looks like co-op because he's running around with people over there at AI um, controlled, I don't know, but as the smoke rises, so we all oh, shall we have a bit of an explosion, don't we? <laughs> ah, this looks so good. Can't wait for this one. So that was Rise of the Ronin. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing these games right. Avail that will sacrifice their partner so good, though. Look at the graphics, seriously. So which of you will do the deed? Ooh, which one indeed? <laughs> Forge your fate. There we go. Look at that. Number nine. So at number nine, um, this is a game... I thought looked absolutely brilliant. Um, this is Code to Yin Yong or Yin Yong. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm saying that right. <laughs> Look at the graphics, seriously. So, so good. Um, if you guys want to leave a comment about the games and what you think of them, um, feel free to down in the comment section. If you do like what you see and you like the video, obviously don't forget to give me that thumbs up, hit the subscription button and turn on the notifications. See so if you've got any ideas guys for other top 10 themes then please obviously let me know as well. This one I think has got again a mixture of different games in um, the style of it. This reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy. With the fighting style. Jesus, he looks a bit of a tough character. <laughs> he really does. Ooh, take that. <laughs> Surely this keys has got to be a boss, I would have thought. <laughs> so tough to be. <laughs> Ooh, that's handy. <laughs> uh, sorry guys, the puns are starting already. <laughs> Look at that graphic, seriously. Don't know whether that is... Um, Cut scenes or whether they've just done that for the trailer. I don't know. It does say at the bottom there. This is a demo from R and D engine. It does not reflect the quality of the final product. So I'm hoping it's going to be close to this. I really am. I'm sure it's 
sure if they've, you know, done this for a demo, then it's going to be very similar, I would have thought. But it looks so good. So that was code to Ying Yong. Um, that's it. Hopefully I'm saying right. Number eight, guys. So at number eight for me, this game is What's called Phantom Blade. You have only um, now this one did remind me a lot of um, sort of soul style games like Sekiro and Bloodborne um, again third person but the, the style of gameplay from the trailer looks very Bloodborne-ish just a bit more fast paced <sighs> look at the graphics there seriously it won't make any difference. Again, I don't know if that's cutscenes or whether that is um, exactly what the graphics are going to look like. But. You know better than anyone else. <laughs> I, I get know. proper freaked out when them Chinese dragon beings. They look very freaky and mean. Reminds me a bit of Raiden in <laughs> Mortal Kombat, that character, the way he wears his hat. This looks so good. Ooh, he looks a bit of a big dude. <laughs> He's got to be a boss. Oh, look, you can hide behind the pillars and stuff. I mean, it looks so good. I can't wait for this one, I really can't. Um, as you know from the previous videos, I loved Liza P, so if she plays anything like that, it's so good. Ooh. Love the blood elements in it as well, that makes it so much better, I think. <laughs> and we're all done. <laughs> Look at this. You fight while you're standing in right. I don't know. Horse and cart as well, green. Ooh. That looks so fast, man. It really does. <laughs> yes, there we go. I absolutely think that looks amazing. Gameplay wise, graphically, everything. If it's anything what I think it's gonna be side. like, it's gonna be stunning. All we have to do is wait. I can't wait. <laughs> yes. Let's My kill God. him with time. Look at this guys. Phantom Blade. What's your plan? Knowing you have only 66 days to live. That is very Bloodborne-ish, isn't it? <laughs> ah, Get it looks so good, back. though. Really can't wait for this one. Number seven. So number seven on my list is a game called Project the Perceiver. Again, graphically absolutely stunning. Is that cherry blossom petals? I think that's cherry blossom. I'm not hundred percent sure though. I don't don't know about Japanese trees and stuff. <laughs> oh Shut through the heart. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I won't sing any more. Promise. <laughs> it looks so good. Again, I don't know whether this is actual gameplay footage or whether it's just. Uh, 
stuff they put together for the trailer, but it looks amazing. Look at the detail in that, seriously. <laughs> Oh, get down! <laughs> Love it, run across rooftops. Brilliant. Let let you experience the Nice. This guy here looks a bit of a tough character. <laughs> Must be like a mini boss or a boss or something like that, but it looks really, really good this game. Graphically, a gameplay wise, if this is going to be the gameplay, it looks really good. I did buy Ghost of Tsushima, but I haven't played it yet, so I'm just. Um, heard a lot of good things about that though, the Ghost of Tsushima, so if anything, if that's anything to go by and these games are similar, it's going to be amazing, really is. You lie, lie. <sighs> Just, that looks, look at the graphics, seriously. I would have thought this is a cutscene, <laughs> but it looks so good. I couldn't find a short <laughs> trailer for this but I had to show you guys it anyway just because it looks absolutely stunning it shows you a little bit of everything so like the scenery um, this has got, yeah this is a boss fight you've got a little bar at the top <laughs> <laughs> Definitely looks a bit of a tough character this one. <laughs> <laughs> Love the Japanese language as well, they <laughs> make it sound so dramatic. <laughs> I've actually got a couple of friends um, that have moved out to Japan. Um, I haven't spoken to them in a while, but they do say whenever I speak to them that they're loving it out there and really enjoying it. The scenery in these games looks absolutely stunning. Look at that. <coughs> it really does. <laughs> games are just getting better and better, they really are. I said it in my last top 10. Um, in all ways, gameplay, like. And some of these look like a movie, they really do. Definitely reminds me of Raiden from Mortal Kombat <laughs> character. Just like in the, <laughs> the last video. So there we go, guys. That was Project the Perceiver. Look at this, guys. So that is going to be different seasons and stuff as well throughout the game, so like winter, summer and all that, spring. Graphically they've done it so good, they really have. Bonsai! <laughs> Oh, 
well just watching the rest of this guys I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has liked and subscribed to my channel um, again if you're new to the channel and you would, wouldn't mind doing that it would be massively appreciated um, put the old thumbs up and the subscription button and the bell notifications as well it would be massively this must be another boss I reckon These fight scenes look absolutely stunning. Ooh. There we go, Project the Perceiver. Can't wait for that one, that looks so good. Really does. Number six. So this is another one um, that really intrigued me. Uh, this is called Where Winds Meet. Again, um, I think it's going to be a while before the game's out, but I know I keep saying it, guys, but graphically, again, looks absolutely amazing. Really does. The east wind blew again in my garden last night. <laughs> I bet it did. Ah, oh, this bit is so sad in this way, it really is. So, whoever this character is, looks like they... <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, guys, but... Looks like they die and then set fire to the house by knocking a candle over. That's so sad, but gra stunning graphics when they do it. It really does look good. I'm not laughing at the fact that he's died, but... Look how well that's done, seriously. So, so good. Even that flower like coming apart like that is absolutely amazing. I'm just stunned how good these graphics are, really. Am. Again, it's a third person style game. Um, elements of assassins in there again, I think, climbing up the mountains and stuff like that. The bow and arrow as well. A bit of Valhalla in there. <laughs> Loved Valhalla. <laughs> oh yes. You could do that in Assassin's as well. Like fire your bow while you're jumping. This one looks like it's a little slower pace than some of the other ones, so might not be as hectic while you're playing it, but still looks absolutely stunning. Do you really like the look of that one? I mean, look at the graphics there, seriously. Oh my, what a big sword you have there! <laughs> wow. Look at this guys, it looks so good. Ooh, look at that weapon. <laughs> yes, where winds meet guys, that looks so good. I'm really excited for all these games, I really am, they look amazingly good. Stunning. Ooh, he looks a bit of a character, doesn't he? Here we go. <laughs> Game on. <laughs> so there we go. That was where winds meet. Number five. Again, this is a game that looked absolutely amazing this at the minute is called project e and um, i think the game is still in development so they usually just call their games project something or other um this is project e i don't know whether it'll be the name of the game when it does eventually come out but i just had to show you guys this one i really did again it looks 
absolutely amazing. Ooh, he's a freaky character, isn't he? <laughs> I think this is the, the big bad woman. I think she's a bit of an evil witch. <laughs> Starts chanting all this stuff and then these things come after you. It's from the trailer anyway, that's so good. I think this has like uh, zombie elements in it as well. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> it's sort of a mixture between samurai and zombies. Weird creatures. Ooh, right in the throat. Again, third person view, which I, I just love these type of games, I really do. I do like the first person as well, but I really, really enjoy third person. Just I don't know why, I just seem to get on better with third person games. Look at this, seriously. It's like you're gonna have to fight that thing at some point. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so good. So that was Project E. Um like I say I don't know if that's gonna be the name of the game when it comes out, but had to show you guys. Because it looks so good, I'm really excited for these games. Wow, number four. So at my number four, um, I've put a game called Kingdom the Blood. I believe this game is inspired by a Netflix series. Um, again, it's a samurai style game, hence the title of the, of the, the top ten I've put together. But, Again, I think this is going to have zombie elements in as well. Yeah, I think he transforms in, in a minute into a zombie style again. Love the blood splatters on his clothes. Oh, here he goes. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Heads must roll. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. guys know as well I love my horror so zombie based samurai game <laughs> so good. Oh, Jesus number three so number three for me I've put Wu Chang Fallen Feathers I really hope I'm pronouncing these right <laughs> again this looks absolutely stunning it really does Not a character to mess with there, is it? <laughs> she looks a bit lethal. <laughs> I hope that says I'm not some enemy. <laughs> looks like that's what yeah, the character you play. Absolutely amazing. These games do look so good. Some of these look like movies, they really do. <laughs> Trailer doesn't give too much of the game away, but if the game's anything like this trailer, it's going to be so good. Look at the detailing in that graphics. Here. there we go. That was Wu Chang Fallen Feathers. Number 
part two. So this one is a, um, a game that is still under development. It's untitled, but I believe it's going to be called The Bird That Drinks Tears. It's an unannounced project. Um, this is just a concept trailer for the game, but it looks so good. When the unknown yellow flowers bloom. Really does. <laughs> games like this. This trial is anything to go the by. The season of her uh, death I returns. The game will be there. So good. That's why I put it in my number two because, like, just the graphics in this concept trial are absolutely stunning. I could not realize that first. Look at that what song. was coming that for me? Nice. What would happen to me? Absolutely amazing how they've done that. Their memories too. fade. But the pain lingers. Next severed. It's like planted it backwards. Bodies crazy. ripped apart. Ooh. This nightmare. My oh torment my when she mourned before my eyes. Body torn into pieces. So do not weep. <laughs> wow. Can't wait for this one, guys. Really can't. Amazing. There we go. That's the bird that drinks tears. Um, so it's an unknown project. Like the seasons. Um, unannounced project. Not <laughs> unnamed. Death will um, return. Hopefully that will be coming soon. Really can't wait. And then, last but not least, we have number one. This one for me. Is something I'm really <laughs> excited for so so much. This is called Black Myth Wukong. Um, as soon as I saw this trail, I was like, I am definitely getting this game. It looks so good. This, there was a program I used to watch when I was uh, a lot younger, <laughs> when I was just a mere boy. Um, it was called, it was either called Monkey or Monkey Magic. I remember it as Monkey Magic. But this game reminds me massively of that series I used to watch. Um, you play kind of like a half monkey, half man. Then why is there always suffering? Um, and why do the bad folks always win? Known as the chosen one. But, um, I mean, from that Monkey Magic series I watched. I call him the Monkey King. <laughs> Uh, this looks, the there world is, look, look at this. And grow lotuses in it. Um, I'm really excited for this one, guys. There's some weird and wonderful creatures in this game. Looks amazing. Journey to the West. I, the keeper of the new West, welcome the destined one. <laughs> so good, the yes. destined one who doesn't even know what he's destined for. Those old rascals, they surely know how to name. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm so excited, man. I really can't wait. In the series I used to watch, so the, the monkey king used to go, and then this cloud would come down and jump on the cloud and fly around. My missus didn't believe me at all when I was telling her about the series. Um, if you've not watched the series, <laughs> it's, just, it's a Japanese type series that is English dubbed. So that is Monkey, Monkey King, and uh, it's got a friend, Pixie, and Monk, and also. If you don't believe me, go on YouTube and check out Monkey Pixie. It's absolutely brilliant. 
I liked it anyway. <laughs> this game reminds me so much of that. I'm so excited. Perfectly again, looks really stunning. Oh, sweet oh, destiny. <laughs> so that was Black Myth Wukong. There we go, guys. <laughs> Hope you really enjoyed the top 10. I know I did. Um, don't forget to give me that little old thumbs up. Now hit that subscription and that bell notification as well. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you all on the next one. Take care. Hit it!